Hi guys, here I am giving you a quick video tutorial on how to do your research question. Hope, hope this is helpful. All right, so the first place you start is on the website at the research question. Make sure you read the question and know what the question is asking you. Make sure you pay attention that this week you need to find three inventions and three three inventions or three discoveries. Okay. And once you've read the website, just kind of scroll down here and make sure you open that template. Most of us should be good with how to do that by now. So let me go to my template. And there's my template. Okay. All ready for me to get working on. So let me go back to my website. Okay. So once I've read the question, I need to say, hey, I want to find a discovery or an invention. So I like the idea of how Coke was invented, Coca-Cola. So I'm going to find, I found this article and it looks really good. There's an author and it has enough detail in there. It gives me some information, so it's good. So once I've decided that I'm going to use it, I'm going to create a works cited. To do that, I use some citation machine. Okay, so I go there, I'm going to go to MLA and go to where it says web document and it's going to give me something that looks like this. And they always ask for the same information, author's last name, title of the web page, website, date published, publish organization. So I've already filled it out for long, okay, if they are, so I have an author and all that information is filled out there, okay. Just remember on the website, your date published can be up here or it can be down here with the copyright. Sometimes they don't have a date published, but they'll say copyright it. Use that date instead if they don't have a publishing date. Remember that the title is your web page. Up here where it says the who owns it, that's your website, all right. So once you have your citation made, Okay, information put in, Oops, right over here, your information put in, hit make citation, and it's going to spit out something that looks like that. Okay, all you have to do is copy and paste it and put it right into your paper. Okay, and that's what I did. All right, put it right there. Now make sure you remember that this needs to be hanging in an alphabetical order. So right now I only have long, so it's not a big deal. I don't have to worry about alphabetical order. All right, the second. Okay. So here's my credibility checklist. I, there's only one checklist per a research question. Remember, there's three sources, one checklist. Three sources, one checklist. So I like this article, so I did my checklist on it because it seemed very credible, which means that it seemed like it was a good source of information. They weren't making stuff up. It was true info, okay? So the title of the website was Wired. Was their author? Yes, Long. Acceptable sources of bibliography. Did they tell me they had a source? Yes, they said they had one source, Wikipedia. It's still listed. Credentials expertise. They didn't tell me that he was an expert or anything, so none. Yes, I could email him. And did this page sponsor, did that uh, Condé Nist seem reputable? Yes. They own several publication companies, so they are reputable. So that is my checklist, okay? Checklists are worth four points on that rubric. So once I have my work cited and my checklist done, I'm kind of ready to write my first section. Now for this research question, it's easy because you're writing three about three inventions, so each paragraph it's going to be about an invention. Later on, it may not be so easy to get started right away. All right, so here is my little thing that I wrote. Now, notice I put these in pink. The reason they're in pink is to draw your attention. So it says, according to Long, and down here I put Long in parentheses. Remember, we call this a citation sandwich because you're saying, hey, reader, this information comes from Long, which as the reader, I'll go, ooh, Long. I'll go down to your works cited and say, oh, your citation matches your works cited, check done. All right, then you're gonna write, 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 and when you get done writing from long, you're gonna go ahead and put that name in the parentheses with a period afterwards saying, hey reader, I'm done with that source, okay? Now, remember, you need three sources. So let's say that you needed to find another source, well, I went and found another source. I found a source from Campbell that said Coca-Cola grew from a local drink to being the uh, best organized brand local. Guys, it's just a sentence, but it counts as another source. So later on this year, when you need three sources and you found one awesome one, you still need two more, a sentence counts. As long as you cite it in your paper, it counts as a source. Well, then I'm going to go down here and I put in Campbell, okay? And also note that I've added this third source, Christian, I did another experiment just to kind of show you that I now have my three sources all right well what you notice is these are not alphabetized so what I can do is I can highlight them I can scroll up here to my A through Z button and I can hit OK 
and Word is going to magically sort them out for me. Now, note, there is no punctuation in front of my first letter. Otherwise, Word won't sort them for you, okay? All right, so up here, this paragraph up here is my one invention. So I did a second invention for you. There you go, okay? Now, the reason I did the second one is, note, there's no author. It came from Wikipedia. And I said, Christian Frederick, and I'm not going to pronounce that guy's last name, okay? That's the title of my article. That is what I'm using as my citation, all right? If you notice, I, t I do a citation sandwich. I tell you where it comes, what, what I'm citing. So I go, ooh, Christian Frederick. I go down to my works cited. I can easily match them up. There's my works cited. There's a reference to it. That's my citation. Awesome. Blah, blah, blah. And then down here at the bottom. Now, no, guys, down here, I just use his last name. In science, when you talk about people, you use their last name. You very rarely use their first name. So I just went ahead and used his last name as my citation, and it's good. So all this information is cited. So you, remember, you need to do three inventions this week, so you would have to do one more, which means you'll have four sources instead of just three, based on my example. All right. Hope this helps, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. I'll be around. Tomorrow I have a track meet. Um, you can text me there, but I won't have a computer, but definitely text me. And hopefully this helps. All right, guys. Good night.